guys, what's going on? It's Chippy99 here today from We Mad Bros, bringing you the final episode of the Harry Potter Quidditch Pitch Let's Build series here on this channel. Today's episode is just going to be finish off the final few little things with the stadium and then it'll all be complete except the exterior which I've explained to you in the last episode if you didn't see it where what I'm going to do is begin the Hogwarts build and then if you like my design for the exterior then we will continue with this do a one-off sort of special exterior episode for the Quidditch pitch so First things first, as you can see in the background, my first instruction for today is to finish off any of the little things that we haven't yet done already. So I hadn't filled in the top of a lot of the stands, so what I'm doing right now is just filling in the flags and then I'm going to put in the seats as well. Um, you don't have to do this now, but you'll feel so much better for it once you do all those little bits and then you do the seats and all that sort of stuff. So I de definitely, definitely, definitely recommend that. The next thing, guys, is I know it's only, what, two weeks into the new year, but we're already going to have to change up the schedule. And this is due to a sort of collaboration series I'm going to be doing with another F1 YouTuber. So his name on YouTube is FoxyDude98. I'll link his channel down in the description. And basically, it's just an online subscriber championship. It's his idea. He put so much work into setting this up, and I'm so thankful for him letting me get involved and do my first real ever collaboration on the channel. So I'm really excited. I want to try and do my best in this series for you guys and to hopefully start maybe our own little F1 community championship because I know his cousin also does YouTube and his name is RWO2 and I'll link him in the description as well. So if you guys want to know more about this series which is going to be starting on my channel and when it actually starts, see someone else's perspective, then I'll link all the contestants and participants' channels down in the description of each episode. And also go check out Foxy Dude's channel. He'll have all the details if you want to get involved, because there is still some places um, that are up for grabs. So you might be questioning, what's this got to do with the Minecraft series? Well, the reason is, is the series is going to be recorded on a Sunday, and then post it on a Wednesday, which actually is great because this does fit in with my upload schedule of Sunday and Wednesday. But then you're thinking, oh, well, Rainbow is the Sunday ones. This is replacing the Wednesday ones. I'll know what's going to happen to Hogwarts. Well, I can tell you Hogwarts will be a Friday video from next week. We are changing it up to 100% of the time, three videos a week. This is huge guys and I'm hoping the channel growth continues the way it started this year. We're nearly at 320 already this year. It, it, it's phenomenal and it's you guys which are really helping me get there. So our target this year is 500 subscribers and I hope we can do that and we're definitely on our way to doing that. And I think the Hogwarts series and this new F1 collaboration series will do wonders for this channel and I'm so thankful for that. So Foxy Dude channel will be down in the description. Make sure you go check him out. He's put so much work into setting up this series. So really do show him your support. Drop him a subscribe. He is a great guy. So that's enough about that. I'm sure you're here not to know about F1, although do check it out. I'm sure you're here to learn about Minecraft and get this build finished. I know that's all what you want. So let's fast forward to where I start doing new things rather than just this old boring flags. So then here we are, one of the final steps of this build. Yes, this won't be the longest episode, but we're going to be working on these seats right here. So that's pretty much going to be it for this episode, working on these seats. It's a long process, as it always is, as Colo Ren joins the party. Cheeky shout out to one of the new Rainbow Boys right then. So first things first, as you can see, we've got to build up this back wall. Now, I recommend we want to try and keep it the same colour scheme with these giant towers here. So the ones behind the giant towers, you want to make the exact same colour, if you can see what I'm about. Follow the pattern there, as you can see, on all three of the black and white towers. So what this will mean is that on the other part, it won't follow the pattern. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So we go yellow, red, and already you can see the back wall, it's broken the pattern. So that's what you're going to want to do. Again, building up this 3 by 3 by 3 over and over and over. 
it's it is mind draining. It really is. You just sort of sat there building up these things. But it's so worth it in the end, guys. I absolutely love this build. It is finished now. And it is awesome. And you guys, thank you so much for your support and helping us get here. So what you're going to want to do is build up this 3x3x3 three by three by three up to 4 layers high this time, okay? So as you can see here, this is where I made a mistake. Noticing, <laughs> and I'm sure you'll do this because I made plenty of these mistakes, that the back wall is not the same colour. So don't fall into that trap like I did so many times in this build. Now, I'm not going to lie, the corners are much more difficult. Now, I'm going to show you a different clip of the corner because I didn't quite get it right the first time. So I would recommend starting off behind these towers. Now, in this clip, I don't quite do it right, but I do go back and correct it, so don't worry. So you're going to want to do that one there, then the two, then you want to do four sets of these going back one, alternating the colours of three. So I'll go back in a minute. I, I know it's really confusing and I'm not explaining this great, but, you, but you'll see in a second. I notice here, I think, well, and a second, this is curving, but this part over here, it, it doesn't look curving. And so, look look at that. That's, that's horrendous. We can't have that on the build. That's going to ruin it all. So, basically, all I do is just try and line it up so it makes this curve look a bit more natural and fits in a lot better. So as you can see here, I decide to cut out all of this and make this into, there's the two rows of three, there's the third. If you see what I want about there, the two, the three, 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 and then this will be the fourth. And then you go up one more just to bring it across, to bring it round. So if you can sort of see, pause the video and, and you'll be able to see it. It's just sort of, so if you started from the first bit, you go two sets of three old name colours, then four going back one of the three, then you go a two and then a one. I, I will do it here. So there's the one and the two. There's three, 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 three. Then we will have the two of the colours on the end. So that's what you're going to want to do, guys, all the way round doing this layer. I, I would recommend doing the bottom layer first, just so you don't get confused later on. But it does take a long time. You're going to want to build this up four layers high, which, as I, as I keep saying, it takes ages, but it, it will be worth it. Don't worry. So I will skip forward now, guys, because my voice is hurting a little bit today. So I don't want to talk all the way through it. So I'll see you on the other side. So we're just about to finish these colours. I'm, I'm just wondering, guys, do you prefer these jumps or do you prefer the fast forward? Because I was thinking the fast forward, you can see what I'm doing, but... The jump is a lot more cleaner and, and saves you being bored of the fast forward, if, if you know what I mean. So, there's something to consider. So, there we go, guys. We finished going all the way around with this lower layer. Now, we're going to want to build it up the four cubes high like we have here. So, this is a sort of example and basis we're going off. The black and white entrance that we did um, and that I've sort of done myself off the episode. Now, the next thing also you might want to do is do this one layer of colour. So, it doesn't matter which order you do this, if you do this at the end or if you do this now. But I just chose to do it now. It, it doesn't really matter. So, you're just following the colour that's on the wall behind it. And on one layer down, so in the middle of the top square, you're doing a layer of colour. Now, this is just, I don't know if you saw, this is just for in front of the seating section. Just to make it look a bit more colourful. And so it's not stairs right to the front. And it does look alright actually in the end. So this doesn't take too long just going round. This is really quick. You don't have to mess around with the corners or anything like that. So that's all good. Now, the last episode and the last couple of episodes, we've had some great suggestions in the comments for builds. So... I would just like to take a minute to say thank you guys for all these amazing ideas. I mean, you know in these early episodes I was struggling to think of things to do. But it's your guys' comments and efforts which has made me do all this. The Quidditch pitch was not my idea, it was yours. The Burrow was not my idea, it was yours. And now we're getting loads and loads in. And, and Hogwarts, my god, Hogwarts. Everyone wants Hogwarts, so... I'm really excited to get this out. Yes, it's going to be longer than a week this time because it, the next episode will be out on the Friday of next week. So it will be a longer wait this week. I'm really sorry, but it will be worth it. And we finally got the Quidditch pitch out of the way. Like I said, I wanted to do as quickly as we could. Then we can crack on with Hogwarts. The first episode will just be probably a laying out 
what we're going to do. Just me explaining how we're going to set it out, um, how much in detail we're going to go. I'm hoping quite a bit in detail. Um, you got to remember we are on the Xbox as well, so there's no, um, what do you call them, world edit. That's the one. There's no world edit, so it does take a lot longer and take a lot out of my time, especially considering I'm doing my A-levels. If, if you're in the UK, um, they're, they're tough. They do take it out of you, but yeah, so... I'm happy to always give up my time for this because I, I love making YouTube videos. It's my real passion I've got. So let's just keep on going, making the best quality content we can and working together. I absolutely love it. Um, and something, if you guys didn't know, is that Stampy Longhead actually commented and is subscribed to the channel. Did an interesting little fact there. Um, it was all the way back before I'd even started doing my tutorials. I did a Wars series and he just basically said, keep up the good work. And it's just things like that. I mean, seeing how many subscribers he's got and he's encouraging me, it makes you want to do even better. And so I think the message for me, I know, you know, we're, we're doing building this Quidditch pitch, but just a quick message for me is if you are starting a YouTube channel, don't give up. You know, I was scrolling through a comment section on a, on a FIFA video the other day and someone was asking for subscribers. Now, I, I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with people who use these sites to get subscribers. So, there, there is an app called Sub for Sub and I, I was shown it once and, well, it, it's just embarrassing to be, to be frank. And it's where you basically, you sign up or something, you earn points and then you earn subscribers. Um... And basically, this kid had earned ten thousand subscribers or whatever, and he and he posted one video with twelve views, and and you're sort of looking at that and you're thinking, well, you know what's gone on there, and at first I thought, well, maybe he did do it legit and deleted videos, but everyone in the comment section was absolutely destroying him over it, so it's obviously a problem. But if you are stuck on fifty subscribers. You know, even I'm a bit higher than me, if it's 700 subscribers and, and you want more, I just think, you know, keep going. It, it shouldn't be about numbers or anything. It should just be about you enjoying the video. Um, and I, I love little life lessons like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I love chucking them in to videos because hopefully they do help, you know. And it's something to talk about as well because I know you guys don't like me jumping. So, <laughs> but yeah, little mistakes like this on screen happen all the time in this and, and just a final quick message going back to what I was just saying um, the first a hundred the first ten first a hundred first a thousand I, I reckon are always the hardest you know that first a hundred for me took me about one and a half years and was so hard you know and now yes we're three years but we're approaching 350 which is which is ridiculous you know, you can even go back to the channel where, back to the beginning of the channel, where I post a video about 50 subscribers, and I'm absolutely buzzing, you know, and that was when I had me, me Roxio game capture back in the day. So, although it doesn't look to you guys that progress has been made away from the, from the channel, uh, it really is, and I'm currently in the process of getting a mic, so... All these years on the videos, I've used my computer mic, which is <laughs> probably won't shock you guys. It probably won't. So I'm hoping to get a brand new mic to use for the videos. That is that's the goal. Um, saving up some money to get a half decent one as well, not one of these little ten pound ones. Um, maybe a good fifty pound one, maybe a hundred pound. De depends. Depends what's going on. Deals that are going down and that sort of thing. How much money I can earn. So that's the next sort of step for the channel. We've got this video weekly setup in place, which is now, I'll quickly go over it again. Monday, no video. Tuesday, no video. Wednesday will be the Formula One videos. Thursday, no video. Friday will be the Minecraft movies video. So the Hogwarts series pretty much this year. Saturday will be a random video if I decide to. So that was previous to the Friday. If I felt like doing a video or if I'd done a video, and you don't want to ruin the schedule, I'll put it in on a Saturday. Um, well, Friday it used to be, now Saturday. And the Sunday will be the classic Rainbow Boys Top 5 of the week, as well as another video if I manage to do a Rainbow Boys in that week. And also, guys, I haven't mentioned it yet, the support on the Rainbow Boys videos at the moment is, is insane. 
you know, back in the day, we used to get, you know, 18 videos on a Rainbow Boys video. And that's just not the case now. We're about 50 on each of them. So, that's not even a funny moment as well. That's what you got to remember. It's not even a funny moment. It's just Rainbow Boys top 5 plays. Or top 5 clips. Or top 5 kills. It's mad. And Rainbow Boys is expanding. And, you know, if you guys want to be part of the Rainbow Boys, just whack it down in the comments. And I'll, I'll see what I can do. Because it... It is endless, the Rainbow Boys. Anyone can be in it, really. You've just got to prove to us you're worth it. And to be honest, that, that's not a lot. we got people in copper. You know, they know who they are. Absolute scrubbings. <laughs> but, yeah, so, as you can see now, guys, back to the build. Talk is over. N no more nagging. Don't worry. No more nagging or anything like that this episode. Back to the build. Let's finish this build. As you can see, the process keeps on going. We're just building up this barrier as high as we can now. Well, not as high as we can. That That's a fat lie. We're just building it full high, and we're getting it done as quickly as possible, is probably what I was going to say, and what I am going to say now. And I will reiterate how long this takes. This video, as you can see now, has been going on for quite a while, and progress isn't evident. But with a lot of these things, I feel... You, know, you take an hour, half an hour out of your day, or even if you just hop on this game for about 15 minutes, you can quickly chuck down about a side of, you know, one of the sides of the Quidditch pitch in that time. So, doing it in one sitting, I, I have done this before, done builds in one sitting, but <laughs> doing these builds in one sitting isn't always the best option if you're easily bored, because it is really tedious and happens over and over and over, all these patterns but it, it is worth it, and, and that's what it is to bear in mind. So, I'm going to fast forward again this time, guys. This time, I'm going to do a normal fast forward, just to show you guys what I'm, what the difference is between the two. And please do comment if you do have a problem with the fast forwarding, and I'll try and sort it out in, in a way we can do it, where it's not boring for the video, but then also it's not too long for me to, to break my voice, which is happening now. So I'll see you on the other side, guys. So guys, as you can see, I myself have already got bored of doing the sides, so I will do that in another sitting. It's taken me about half an hour, and I've barely got even around that corner. Yes, I've been doing a few little other things on the side, but it takes ages. As you can see, we have now hit the longest ever Minecraft movies episode, so I'm hoping this doesn't affect if people are trying to finish this build. But the final thing now we need to do, guys... Once you've finished the back wall, is popping these stairs, and they are so simple. You just go from that top row, and you bring the stairs down, and this will reach that level that we built earlier, the little platform, and it make perfect feet room for there. You're just going to want to do that all the way around the stadium, and it is complete. That simple, guys. Yes, we haven't done the exterior yet, but apart from that, it is done. Yes, that, that is right, what you've just heard me say. The Minecraft Movies Quidditch pitch is complete. Now, on inspection, I've just noticed one of those squares was not the correct colour, so I'm definitely going to have to go back after this video and change that. But that is it, guys. Now, th the corner will be very different, granted, and I've already done it on the wrong level, as I can see again. It's all going tragically wrong, because at this point, I was getting very tired, and so... I do apologise for these mistakes, but Hogwarts is a new, fresh start for the Minecraft series. Hopefully, less mistakes, better content, better mic quality is, is another thing that I want to get done. And hopefully, a much more enjoyable experience of building these things. <laughs> that is the goal, basically, guys. That is the goal. And your comments have really pushed me to make this Minecraft series as best as it can possibly be. Especially with your comments saying you you believe in me to do this. 
So that is mad. So basically, guys, we are done. We just need to fill in these seats now, fill in this back wall, and it is all complete. So, to be quite honest, it's not quite finished, the build. We just need to do, or I personally just need to put in the final walls. And so I'll be showing off the final result, the final product of this build next week on Friday. So I'm absolutely buzzing. I hope you guys are buzzing to finally see what this build will look like as it is complete. So for the final time, guys, this is the final episode and ending of the Minecraft Quidditch Pitch series. You guys have been great with all your support. And so before my voice dies on me, I'm going to have to say, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.